Hi everybody, it's Kayla and welcome back to Speed Build Sunday. So today my friends, we are attempting to build another apartment in The Sims 4. I haven't done an apartment in a bit. Well, ah, when did I last do an apartment? I don't remember. I've done some in the past. It's been like a month probably. So I did another one. This one's for my sim self kind of. I'm doing a let's play with my sim self and I'm just like messing around, you know, dating Harry Styles, being a social media star as one does. And so I needed a new apartment because I was living in this like really old rundown needs TLC apartment and I got so sick of there being rats everywhere that I was like, nope, I'm getting out of here and getting a nicer place. So here we are with my nicer place. I don't even know what I was going for style wise with this because I don't think that I personally would ever choose to live in an apartment like this one. <laughs> it's very modern looking, which I guess is sort of my style to an extent in real life, but also not really at all. So, and it's also very green, which I like the color green, but like this much, maybe not so much. I don't know, we'll see, but cute place. And a little bit out of my Sims comfort style when it comes to furnishing and things. I, I build the same thing a lot, I understand that, but this is a little bit more modern looking. So hey, switching it up you guys, we're trying new things today. But yeah, that's what I built this weekend. And this week, oh boy, you guys, was my first week back at school. Oh my God, I'm a sophomore in college now, by the way. So 19, what up, I'm Kayla, I'm 19 and, and, and whatnot starting my sophomore year of school, majoring in history, if you were curious, and um, I'm losing my mind. We're fine though, but like, were we fine on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? No, no, we were not. I even, I missed two uploads this week because I was like, that I wasn't even that busy. I just, cause I'm taking mostly online classes this semester because I, I, I'm doing a lot of things like streaming on YouTube, streaming on YouTube, no, doing YouTube and streaming on Twitch daily. And it's very hard for me to like juggle these three like, very time consuming things that I'm doing with my life. And so I was like, hey, if I take online classes, then I can sort of do them my own time instead of like every Tuesday at 4 p.m. I have to be in class because then I can kind of juggle when I want to do my schoolwork because I'm doing it online. So I kind of have a little bit more freedom there because like I have just deadlines basically. But the thing is this week I was able to log in and like see what I have to do for the whole semester. And I became very overwhelmed by this and all of the things that I have to do and I just, oh my God, but we're fine, you know? Everything's fine, it's just that um, wasn't so fine earlier this week, which is always fun and exciting and cool. Uh, but yeah, we're doing good, you guys. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I uh, I switched my schedule like three times this week because my, my university has this thing called the add or drop period. And so up until Thursday of the first week of the semester, you're able to like add classes and drop classes still. And so I switched my schedule three times in those like remaining three days. And I almost switched it at like midnight before the drop period ended on Thursday, but then I decided not to. So we had a time. <laughs> it was quite a time, but we're good. I, uh, I'm taking two history classes, a Spanish class, and a film history class, which is interesting and fun and stuff. It's actually very good. I'm glad that I'm, I'm taking what I'm taking. It's just the workload is a lot for me to handle <laughs> um, with the, like, you know, the amount of reading and writing in the history classes with the whole daily uploading on YouTube and Twitch thing. And the thing is, you guys, you're all gonna be like, Kayla, just upload less, it's fine. That's the one thing I don't wanna do. Like, the only thing I want to do is make YouTube videos and stream on Twitch, so I'm not gonna, like, not do those things that also make me a living because I have rent to pay and things like that. And so, you know, we're having a fun time. We're good, but, like, are we? So, yeah, the <laughs> I'll be okay. It's just the, the shock factor of it all kind of spooked me a little bit this week. So sorry I missed some uploads and stuff on Monday and Tuesday. I posted a video with my cat, not even with my cat, just of my cat though. Like I, I ended up streaming my cat for like two hours because sometimes my, my cats will just sleep in my room and then I'm like, ah, they're sleeping for a while. Might just set up a webcam and like live stream them sleeping for a bit. And so I live streamed my dog sleeping once and my cat once this week. And so I uploaded YouTube videos um, called My Dog and My Kitten Sleeping for two hours. Uh, both of those are on my channel. I'll link them down below if you wanna check them out because they're not like worth watching, I don't think, because it's literally just two hours of a cat sleeping with The Sims 2 soundtrack on top of it. But if you wanna see the kitten, it's kind of cute to like skim through a bit. Obviously don't watch the whole thing, that would be ridiculous. But like, hey, if you want to, I'm not here to judge. Maybe you're into that kind of thing. I don't know. It seems like the kind of thing that I would at some point in the future pull up and like watch while I do homework or something. I probably find different music because the Sims 2 soundtrack isn't so relaxing for music listening. Maybe that's just me because I usually listen to it while I stream, and so for me it's kind of stressful to hear the Sims 2 soundtrack now, but like, I 
it's a good kind of video to like have on in the background. People watch like just like videos of like the fire, like in a fireplace or like videos of like rain to relax themselves. How about a kitten sleeping? You're welcome. Anyway, <laughs> this is my apartment. Okay, so I was thinking, you guys, I have a pro tip that I have recently discovered. Thanks, Mr. Kate, for this. And that's what I was going for with those, the leaf paintings in the dining room. So here's the thing I realized recently, okay? Because I have to furnish a house now. Oh my God, because I'm, I'm moving into one for school and, and things like that. And so I'm thinking about like decorations and things. Wall art is very expensive. In real life, it is so expensive. However, you can do it on a budget, my friends. Here's my pro tip. Okay, so Pinterest. If you go on there, you can buy prints of art on Pinterest very cheap. Not even prints, but like you can buy the art itself very cheap. So like for $6 even, I bought this really pretty like watercolor thing and then the person sends you the files that you can blow up then and print out and then put on your wall. And so I, I bought for $6 this poster. I'm just gonna get it printed out kind of cheaply at like a, a printer place here and then buy a cheap frame. And then it's gonna look like I have expensive wall art, but I am gonna end up spending probably like $20 on it total. So like, that's the goal, my friends. Um, pro tips with Simsy. Thank you again, Mr. Kate. If you guys don't watch Mr. Kate, I'm gonna plug her right now because one, she doesn't need my help, but she's very good. And I think if you like my Sims building videos, hers are like this, but in real life, she does like interior design stuff on her channel. So she'll go over and she'll like make over YouTubers bedrooms and like redo rooms for people and, and stuff like that. And it's, it's like fixer upper, but IRL, but less like let's renovate this messy house and more like let's redecorate this cool room. And it, I don't know, she's great. Her and her husband do it. They're amazing. Love them. Link down below. But like, this is definitely worth binging for you guys. I think that if you like my content, you will like hers. Family friendly, house things. <laughs> like she gives tips about decorating and like DIY stuff. And I just, she's very, very cool. So check her out. It's like a, a high quality show too. Like it's, it's just very good. I love Mr. Kate. I'm a giant like Mr. Kate stan, I'm not gonna lie. I think she's so cool. So again, links in the description. I, I told Rochelle about this the other day. Like I told my friend Rochelle Kiwi Simming, I'll link her too. Listen, we love Kiwi Simming here. She streams and does YouTube stuff and, and things like that. But I was telling her about Mr. Kate yesterday and she was like, oh my God, this is the dream. And so I figured you guys could be interested in it too. Oh, what am I saying? I figured you guys could be interested in it too. I'm having a hard time speaking today. Can you tell? But like, don't worry guys, we're good. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm fine, I swear. But yeah, kind of a short video because it's only like a, I think I spent like an hour building this apartment. So not too, too long, but it's one of the small ones. Cause it's just like an interior. Cause usually I'll spend like 20 minutes on the exterior of a house this size, but there is no exterior here. So it's, it's just the inside, which by the way, I so desperately wish I could change where the windows are placed in this place, which I get doesn't make sense because it's an apartment. So like you can't change the window placement, obviously of the exterior of the building. But like, I wish there was a cheat for it because I could do so much more with this apartment if I could, because the shape of it is so nice, but the windows are in such weird places. Okay, I'll stop, I swear. I'm gonna go now, you guys. Make sure to go ahead and leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. My siblings all have friends over and they can definitely hear every single word I'm saying and it's stressing me out so much. I just, I don't like this. It reminds me of living in a dorm with my roommates around all the time and I just, ah, I'm scared to record, okay? But I'm fine, everything's fine.